I have just come off for a dog walk, but I didn't realise it was raining. Um, it's nice and nice out, actually. Is it? I'm going to try it. Hopefully it doesn't all of a sudden just start. I had no idea. And it was raining first thing this morning, but then I thought it had brightened up by now, but it hasn't. <laughs> Maybe we'll try and get under the trees or something. I don't know. This morning has been quite good. We did some schooling this morning. We decided to look at chemical warfare and how that started. So that's quite interesting because I don't really know. Like it interests me, but I don't really know much about it. So actually, I am quite enjoying doing this schooling stuff. The house is a bit, um, I mentioned yesterday in the vlog that there's a bit of drama, tension going on in the house at the moment, which is not particularly nice. It's a very, there's an atmosphere in the house. I'll kind of, I mean, I'll just tell you what's going on because to be honest, they don't watch these vlogs, so it kind of is irrelevant. But we are staying, as you know, probably, we're staying with mum and son. And the deal is that for our free stay, we got our accommodation and our food for free. No, we're not going there, we need some trees, come on. Um, our accommodation and food is free, and in exchange, we kind of do like 25 hours work over the week, which includes doing teaching with Ben, like walking the dogs, uh, making, but she's interested in like probiotics and making her own bread and stuff, and so it involves all of that, and kefirs and kombucha, and so it involves like doing that, which is actually really fascinating. I'm loving learning about it and stuff and getting involved in all of that. It's like 25 hours spread over all of that stuff. I'm just hiding under this shelter by the tennis courts. It's got a little bit heavier. Uh, yeah, so that's what the deal is, to do 25 hours work over the course of the week. And uh, obviously that's what I'm doing. And then there's another woman who has come to stay. That spot is really, that's what I mean saying. Another woman who came to stay maybe five days ago or so. Um, and it's kind of, I don't know, I don't obviously know sort of what has been going on when I'm not around or whatever, but I think the feeling, the com few conversations that I've had, the feeling is that she's not really pulling her weight or doing anything, and it all kind of came to a head last night when, which when me and Stephen were going up from the pool, I think, and they had kind of a big argument, and about, you know, I don't really know about dog food or so, I don't even know, something that seems so ridiculous, but, but now, I mean, I, I don't know, I think, I think, like personally, I think it's kind of just playing out wrong, like the person who is doing the work away, not the host, the other woman who has come to stay, she like walked off from the situation rather than resolving it and sorting something out, she walked off from it and now she's just gonna, I think she's just wanting to leave and she's just literally gonna, well I think she's packed her bags and she's just leaving and I'm like you can't, I don't know, I would never do that, like someone has kindly put me up in their house I just think that's shit so just pack your bags and leave without saying anything it's crap and so I'm, try I'm trying to be like oh talk after a bit I've tried to be sort of like mediator in the sense of like sort of trying to say to her just have a word with her speak to her you know don't just get up and leave and you know you sure it can't be resolved and all of this and I don't know I just I think that's really really shit but speaking to our host, it seems to me that that is quite a common thing that people, like people have turned up apparently and just have been like seen the dogs or sort of seen what she expected off of them and they were like no I don't want to stay here and have like literally left within like 20 minutes of arriving. I'm like, I would never do anything like that, like if I've committed to doing something and I've said to somebody that I'm going to do something, I will do it. And I think that's really, really shit that people do it. And so this is all going on, I'm thinking, actually, I, I always kind of question when I'm doing these workaways, like, am I doing enough work? I'm, you know, are the, are the hosts okay with what I'm doing and all that? And actually, thinking about it now, I'm a frigging good work away. Like, I will, I'm so grateful and so, so appreciative of the fact that someone is letting me stay in their house and I get free food. That's fantastic for me. And... I'm so appreciative of that, that I would never, I don't know, I don't know if it's just shitting on people, I just, I find it really strange that people would act in that way. Like, I don't mind if I do, like, some days you do more, some days you do less, so I will do anything. Like, I couldn't travel. Me and Stephen wouldn't be able to travel if it wasn't for the, like, doing these workaways, and I'm so thankful for that. I just can't, but, like, she's, the hostess said that she's had it before where people have gotten up in the middle of the night and left without saying anything, without saying thanks, without saying bye, without trying to sort out any issues or anything or... <laughs> yeah, anyway, they kind of... The 
end sort of thing of this is me realising that I shouldn't stress so much about whether I do enough, whether I'm a good work away, because actually I'm a bloody good one. A bloody good one. I'll do anything, that, but generally, maybe not anything, but most things that anyone, that somebody asks me to do, I'll just get on and do it. I don't know what these people expect. They expect like kind of a free ride, I don't know. But anyway, there's a little drama going on in the house at the moment. So I don't know whether she's kind of going to leave today. I think she wants to leave today, but obviously she's got nowhere to go. She's in Singapore. She hasn't got anywhere else to stay. She's got no money to go and get a hotel or anything. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So how would you, especially like when you're in that position, try and like resolve the situation. It's just madness to me. But anyway, I hope that she stays. I hope that they can have a chat and try and resolve whatever issues there are, but I don't think it's likely. I think it's pretty likely that she's gonna leave today, but she wants to, I suggested maybe try couch surfing to her. I might suggest like a Facebook group or something. Uh, we'll, there's like a Facebook group, Girls Will Travel, uh, where if you're desperate or like you can ask for, you know, if anyone's in Singapore, can you put me up for a couple of nights or something? So I might recommend those to her. But it will be a shame. Well, she's not, she wants me to help. <laughs> Do you know, it actually is the type of person, like, maybe I'm being too, I think I'm being too kind to her, to be honest, because she's lovely, but like, she wants, she's a psychologist or she was a psychologist she's psychology trained but she wants a website and so she would ask me about it and I'd obviously I've had blogs and can do a little I mean I'm no technical wizard in any of that type of stuff but I can, you know, I can help out a little bit so she asked me if I could help her and I was like yeah I can help you it's not like a quick you know how to make money online you can't just teach somebody it like that and I think that's what she's expecting me to do like she's asked me just then oh can can we um can we have a look at doing this website like before she leaves I think and I'm like probably not gonna be that quick I mean I can try and help you but I don't know right anyway we're gonna get out from under this shelter and try and continue with my walk hopefully the rain stops probably isn't gonna if it doesn't stop I'm gonna take this dog back and then I'm in the middle of making bread actually so make go and need some bread the bread takes about eight hours to really make but you're gonna fold it and stretch it and then leave it for like two hours or something um so i might yeah walk the dogs go and do the bed and i might go to the gym if it's still raining i didn't go yesterday i meant to go yesterday but it's uh, just lays by the pool that's what this one's doing today he's <laughs> all wet oh no get down it's gone pretty late it's like i don't know half past four something like that me and Stephen are just gonna go down to the pool. I think it is still actually raining. I've ended up this afternoon. Oh, I've been spending hours trying to like design our webpage for the girl that I was talking about before. It took me a long time. But it's all done and she's happy with it. So what's it going to by the pool? She's a phys not a physio, a psychologist or one of those things. Um, and like she wants to offer people, I don't know, psychology. Is that what you were doing? Yeah. Very interested in it. I think it is anyway. People should pay for that type of service. It took me months and months to learn that type of stuff. Didn't it? They should pay for that. I'm a sucker. I am. Is, is she like, that, like are people going to buy? Well, that's what she wants people to like buy her services of like she does massage and stuff, and she definitely should pay it. Why have I just done that? I'm too nice, definitely. I'm too nice in person. Yeah, it's still uh, it's still spitting out here. I remember, I was gonna say chilly, but that was a complete exaggeration. It's not chilly, but it's it's definitely not as warm as it has been. First off, we're going to the shop. I don't know what to buy, to be honest. What have we come for? No. 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 The pool is not popular today. Just some kids doing their swimming lessons. Quite a lot of kids have swimming lessons, don't they? Yeah. In the pool. We're going to go and sit under the shelter, I think. Well, I'm not, I think, definitely. I'm just sitting out in the rain. I'm not that much of a fool. Right. The rain is just not stopping. We've been sat down here for maybe. I don't know, two hours now, and it is just relentless. I've not seen it like this in Singapore whatsoever, just continuously 
upgraded. I think we're going to go back up soon. They kind of want to go in the pool. Oh, like they've just come up. I kind of want to go in the pool in the rain, but it's, I don't think it's going to be warm. Well, it'll be cold when we get out. And nah, I don't want to go in that much. I can't even be bothered. We're going back up. We've had enough of this day. Well, I've had enough of this day anyway. I'm glad that it rained really hard. I'm glad that it rained. Why? Whenever it was, because like, I like, like, kind of like it. Flops. Yeah, I like, like, this, this is crap. This and is like, stuff. yeah, this is like English rain, like just crappy drizzle constantly. This is what I class as English rain. I like a good tormentor, a good storm, loads of rain, you never say. lightning, you, thunder. You never say storm. No, we always, always say tormentor. Tormentor is, is Spanish for, I don't know why but we do, we just always say tormentor. I don't. No. I think because the first time we kind of have sort of experienced, or with me, or well, the first time that I kind of experienced real storms was in Spain at the villa when I was a kid. And so we just done Tormenta Spanish for storm, so we just sort of call them Tormentas. Anyway, I'm going home. I'm here now. What I don't understand is why they do something stupid like that. Steps and floor slippery when wet in a country like this that has like a storm every day why put flooring down that gets slippy it's just stupid isn't it it's not all like it no but why would you do that in a country where it always rains that's like something like 250 rainy days oh this really annoys me that it can't get my car oh, oh. Through my phone case, it can't get my. Yeah, that we can just. Yeah. I didn't go to the gym. I meant to go to the gym. Never mind. I'm desperate, you know, when you. I needed the toilet down. Oh. You know, when you need the toilet, I needed the toilet down at the. Um, what's it called? At the pool. I thought, no, we'll wait till we get upstairs. Now I'm desperate and we have to wait ages for the lift then. Nobody getting this lift. If there's anybody in the toilet when we get home, I'll be well annoyed. No one's ever got in, I'm not the one to go down. No, I don't think it works that way, I don't think you can. Yeah, if it's going up, then you kick down. Yeah. 